two, one. Hey, good morning. This is Doug Chabot, and I'm here with Dave Zinn, and it is Tuesday. Um, I don't know the date. Um, anyway, Dave, we know we got some snow and cook. That's where we're headed today. Um, what's happening out there? Yeah, so the date is the 22nd, Doug, and uh, in Cook City, you guys are going to have some good riding. Uh, there's uh, 10 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours, another inch of snow water equivalent. That brings the storm total up to 20 inches, uh, 1.7 inches snow water equivalent. So uh, you guys be careful down there. Stay away from steep slopes out from the bottom of avalanche runout zones. Uh, dangerous avalanche conditions in Cook City right now. Right. And it's super windy, too. I saw like it was gusting into the, like the 60s or something. Yeah. Or 50s. Uh, so the winds picked up last night, sustained winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour and gusts to 60. So this is going to be actively creating really unstable wind drifts. Nav natural avalanche activity is definitely likely on those slopes. Uh, human triggered avalanches are going to be likely on any steep slope. All right. So we've got a high danger on wind load, uh, considerable on nine. Uh, what about the other areas? Yeah. So in Lionhead area, we've got a uh, considerable avalanche danger. So human triggered avalanches are likely in the last few days, we have seen human triggered nat avalanches, natural avalanches. We've you and I triggered two avalanches and some whoops. Uh, these are all signs of unstable snowpack. And when we have a weak sugary foundation like we have, it's going to take some time for that to stabilize. So sort of similar advice, for, but a different reason for Lionhead, staying off of steep slopes, out from under steep slopes. And, and that's considerable down there, right, today? That's considerable in Lionhead. All right. And it looks like you got a picture of Sunlight Basin behind you. Yes. Uh, Alex and I went to the Taylor Fork yesterday, and we found this avalanche. There was actually two avalanches in Sunlight Basin, one on a north, northern facing slope and one on this kind of, uh, southeast facing slope heavily wind loaded. That wind load is landing on a layer of weak sugary facets. And right next door to this, we dug a snow pit and had unstable results and triggered a whoop. So uh, it's taken a little bit of time for the snowpack to adjust there as well. Um, human triggered avalanches will remain possible today. Um, dangerous rated moderate in the northern and southern Gallatin, or I'm sorry, the northern and southern Madison ranges and the southern Gallatin range. All right, and what about a Bridger and Upper Round Highlight? Bridger and Highlight haven't received much new snow, but the winds have been hammering in Highlight and also in the Bridgers. Uh, these winds are creating hard slabs of snow that are sitting on top of weak sugary facets. You, you may have guessed that, Doug. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, surprise, surprise. So these, these hard slabs. There was some natural avalanche activity this weekend in highlight and the Bridger Bowl Ski Patrol triggered some hard slabs while doing routine avalanche mitigation work over on Slushman's Lift yesterday. All right, which is similar to the backcountry because it hasn't been open for very long. It hasn't been opened at all. So that is right. We'll still consider that a backcountry snowpack over on Slushman's. Nice. All right. Uh, anything else you want to share weather-wise yeah. or pictures? Let me, just give you or... A Let me just show you a couple of pictures here. Um, it can show you some of those hard slabs. And then uh, we got some, this is actually from Cook City. This was yesterday, nice. uh, more snow now, but people are already getting widespread cracking and collapsing. And this is one of those hard slabs that was triggered yesterday during uh, avalanche mitigation work. So yeah, that looks definitely good. something that you wouldn't want to take a ride on. All right, uh, it's supposed to be more snow today? Yeah, more snow coming today. Uh, so looking at six to eight inches of new snow by morning in the mountains around Cook City, West Yellowstone, and Big Sky, and uh, two to four inches in the mountains around uh, Bozeman. So as that snowfall comes in, the avalanche danger will continue to rise. All right, yeah, it's a double-edged sword because we're kind of psyched to get snow, but we're also kind of not so 
psyched to see all these avalanches or the potential of all these avalanches uh, in the future here. So yeah, we're um, also not so psyched because the wind is looking to continue through the day. So winds are going to continue to crank and load slopes, making uh, unstable conditions from that as well. All right. Well, uh, Ian and I'll let you know what we find in Cook, and uh, you have a great day. And everyone out there, go to mtavalanche.com where you can look at uh, updated photos, videos, snow pits, uh, really get a lot of information before you head out. Thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, thanks, Doug. Have a good and safe trip to Cook.